Oh, please, come on. We all had that sexual fantasy about Jafar. No? Just me? Huh. Hey guys, welcome to Motivation Monday on Daily Double Zero. Today we're going to give you guys weekly advice to get your week started over right. <clears throat> now, as you guys may know, this weekend is one of the most <laughs> sensual and romantic and magical kind of evenings that you can possibly ever dream of. <laughs> yes, this weekend is Valentine's Day. Full of fun, magic, excitement. I am so alone. <sighs> I know there's a lot of you guys out there that just like, I'm gonna be single on Valentine's Day again. Again. A fucking again. <laughs> great. <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> Let me tell you guys that it's okay to actually be single. You actually don't need another person in your life. A lot of people feel like they actually need that other person in their life to complete them, to make them feel whole. To feel like they're not themselves without that person. And to be honest, that's not true at all. What you really need to do is actually learn to just love yourself and who you are as a person. A lot of those people who are seeking another person to change them, complete them, make them feel like they never felt before, usually have some underlining issues with themselves that they're not entirely satisfied with. Maybe I'm just single because I'm just so ugly, or I'm just so fat, or maybe it's because I'm just so fucking annoying. It's just, I just, something is wrong with me. Yes, maybe you do actually have your flaws. One of the things that you really have to do when you develop and grow as a person is accept those flaws. Learn to accept the small flaws and actually try to change the ones that are really, really, they gotta go. Ugh, love that. You don't fucking know. Don't fucking give me lecture. Okay, you have a boyfriend. You have a fucking boyfriend. You know what it's like to be not single, so, you know? Shut the fuck. Shut the fuck. Shut the fuck. And yes, I do have a sexy man friend. His name's George. George Glass. But I haven't always been in a relationship. For years and years and years and years. I knew what it was like to be single. See other couples out there all happy and gooey and shit. And there I was, fucking bitter as hell. Like, what the fuck do they have to be happy about? Why the fuck are these people trying to invade my personal space with their fucking happiness? I don't want to see that shit. At my high school, there's a makeup hallway. They always made out in front of my locker. Like, I don't need this. I need my books. I have class in five minutes. Grown all through Facebook like. All these stupid bitches think they're so fucking cute and gay. <laughs> oh baby, I love you forever. <laughs> Bitch, I'll see you on divorce court. Gold digger, sugar daddy. Ooh, baby daddy. Oof. And I know what it's like to actually go to sleep feeling unloved and wondering when you're actually gonna meet the right person or wondering when you're actually gonna go on a date or if anything's wrong with you or why you're actually single to begin with. And all these thoughts just, they invade your space and then they just, and then these thoughts just bring out so many negative things that you never even thought about yourself. And all these thoughts just swarm around your head and fill you with so much negativity that you don't even know who you are anymore. And it took me a long time to get used to actually being single and actually accepting myself. I felt that things weren't right with me or maybe I'm doing some of the fuck up, or maybe I just deserve to be single, or maybe I'm just never gonna meet the right person. I'm just, it's just, just ne it's not meant for me. It's just, I'm not meant to have my fairy tale ending. That I always wanted since I was a wee little ass, growing up in the suburbs. And even when I did start dating, I dated for the wrong reasons. I went on a series of dates with the complete wrong people for me, just because they were available. There was something I can get to, there was something I had access to. And when I was with them, I didn't have to feel alone, even if we had nothing in common. These people were totally just wrong for me in every single way possible. I mean, come on, you know all us girls have that slutty college face. It's just like, we just have to play the field. Just play the field. Yeah. I mean, I may not play football, but I caught me some tight ends. It was so easy for me to get emotionally attached to these people because, like, I finally have you in my life. I'm never going to let you leave. Never. <laughs> You're mine. <laughs> Until one day I realized that I didn't have to have someone in my life. I didn't have to go out there and look for someone. And I didn't need anyone else to make me feel complete. And I learned to actually love myself. And yeah, I do have my flaws. There's a lot of things about me that, oh my god, if you met in real life, you'll just be like, this fucking bitch. <laughs> he needs to fucking go. And then when I finally accepted myself for actually being single, I realized that, you know what? I'm gonna wait for the right person. I'm not gonna just throw myself at the next guy, the next suitor, just so I wouldn't have to be alone. I'm gonna wait for the person who actually just makes me feel just something that I've never actually felt before. That's what happened. That's how I met your mother, kids. It's great to actually have someone with you, to have a partner, have a companion, have a pal to be with forever, but that doesn't mean you necessarily need that in your life. I mean, yeah, sure, just because you're single, you're probably thinking, hey, it'd just be nice for once to experience love in my life, in my heart, and someone who cares about me as much as I care about them. 
But I have to tell you guys, there's a complete spectrum and rainbow of love. And instead of just focusing on that one companion, that one person out there, that one person who can just make you feel the way you never felt before. Look at the people around you. Look at the people in your life right now. Look at your friends, your family. Those people love you. Those people want to be with you. Those people really care about you. And those are the people who really care about you and want you to be happy. So focus your attention towards them and all that love that you have to give. Give it to them because maybe they need it too. Anyway guys, leave a comment down below on what's your experience of being single. Or if you are single, who is your ideal person that you actually want to be with? And what are some of your plans for Valentine's Day? Cause to me, it's just another fucking fancy holiday that these damn corporations be inventing shit and so they can get rid of the overstock supply of Maxim condoms and chocolate. We all know the truth that the true holiday is February 15th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discount free chocolate day? Yes, bitch, yes, bitch. Side note, why is everyone my age getting married? Look, if you're 22 and getting engaged, where is this money coming from? Just like, uh, where is this money? Where, where is this money? I'm gonna go, what? Anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Stay awesome.